All right, you saw the title, Retiring from Poker. First, this is not clickbait. It is an apt title. I don't want you to think I'm about to retire from poker. That's not happening, but I'm gonna talk about poker retirement. So if you thought I was retiring from poker, um, I'm not gonna talk about that. Really, kind of, maybe a little bit, but anyway, um, it's not clickbait. I was thinking the other day of how many people I know who have treated poker like an average job. Like, started playing, played a consistent number of hours for a solid amount of years, made money, held on to plenty of the money, and then stopped playing. I came up with two people. Like, there, there are superstars, you know, there's like Ivy, there's like Doyle, uh, you know, Chip Reese. Like, people who have or will play uh, until they pass away. And it's like, alright, at a certain point they don't need the money, but they just really love playing. Like, it's their life. And there are people who like, ran really hot, whether it's someone at your local casino or someone you saw on TV a few times, and then absolutely disappeared. Scott Fishman, what happened to him? I don't know. Most people watching don't even know who that is. It's an actual person, but no one knows what happened to him. So, I was thinking of how many people actually like played for like, I don't know, somewhere between like 5 and 20 years, and then stopped and didn't need to play anymore, didn't want to play anymore, didn't need any more money. Came up with two people. One is Rob Farha. That's not his real last name. Uh, we used to live in the same house in Vegas. He played a lot in the East Coast and then he moved to Vegas. He played a lot at Venetian and towards the end uh, some Aria and some Bellagio. And he just, he played. He played a lot. And I know what his rent was because we lived in the same house and it was not much. And uh, that was it. He eventually kind of just stopped. Um, it did help that I think it was summer 2016, he went to Golden Nugget just to meet a friend, wound up playing a tournament, wound up chopping it heads up and got 100K. So whatever he made in cash games his whole life, add 100K to that pre-tax. Um, and as far as I know, just doesn't play um, anymore. But um, even when we were living together, he was playing less. I think like the less and less money he needed, the less and less he played. So, all right. And the only other person I could think of is Mark Voss, who most people probably don't know who that is. He played a lot when poker was booming right after Moneymaker, and uh, I remember watching an ESPN broadcast of poker in like somewhere between 05 and like 09. And I didn't even understand at the time. I remember what he said. I didn't quite grasp it at the time. He said how much he played. It was like 10 hours a day, six days a week. He would play full tilt poker. He would play PLO. And he said like, yeah, just like, while this is going on, I'm gonna play as much as I can, and I'm gonna play until I don't need to anymore. And I didn't really get it. And he was like one of the rare people who understood, like, to pound the hours while it was that easy in those years, and like, hold on to as much money as you can. And as far as I know, it was a success. He played like a ton of online poker and some live tournaments, and made a lot of money and held on to a ton of it and got to a point where he didn't need money anymore. And it's weird that, like I could only think of two. Um, I know there are people who probably claim they've done it, who probably like just never needed the money in the first place, people who were just wealthy from other things, good for them, but like just started playing poker every day and like did it for three years and then stopped. Most of them probably like broke even for three years, just weren't relying on the money. Um, and there are people who have just won a few tournaments in a short span, you see them on TV. Um, I wouldn't really count that as the group of people I was trying to think of. So I came up with two, <clears throat> and it's interesting. I'm trying to become the third person that I can think of to do this. Uh, that's how I'm treating it. I'm just uh, playing. I have no interest in playing like a 100, 200 cash game. I have no interest in playing the main event. I want to play and earn money while I play and hang on to a lot of the money and eventually uh, I won't need money anymore and I'll barely play poker anymore and it's many years off don't be worried if you really enjoy the videos and uh, I'm not retiring like in the next couple of years or anything but uh, yeah I was trying to think as hard as I could there's a lot of time at the table um, I think about a lot of things and I was trying to think of how many people have done it like that and I guess a lot of them you don't see because you don't see people who just like play 2-5 cash and like they're not on TV. So I guess it's difficult to know this group of people, but I tried like really hard from the people I've met, the people I know in Vegas, people I've seen on TV, even like uh, classic 
um, usernames from PokerStars and Online Poker, and it's uh, interesting that I was only able to come up with two people. I'm sure there are more than that, but I'm only aware of two, and I'm trying to become the third that I know of. Yeah, I got, I got it at the stadium. Man. Yeah.